Welcome to another In Wheel Time podcast, a 30-minute mini version of the In Wheel Time car show that airs live every Saturday morning, 8 to 11 a.m. Central. More details. Welcome to the In Wheel Time car talk show. Ahead, a 16-year-old's first car purchase with Alberto Alfonso at Emmons Motorplex. Yep. Along with Grandpa Jeff. <laughs> And uh, it's going to be a, a, a good a good section of this show, and we hope that you'll stay with us. Well, Jeff has this week's racing calendar. Mr. Mars reviews the 2024 Ford Mustang GT. Howdy, along with Mike out of this world, Mars, over there. who's over here yeah. right now, fiddling with something. We always need more Jeff Zekin. I'm Don Armstrong. So glad that you could join us on this Saturday morning for the In Wheel Time Car Talk Show. Although we were a bit tardy to class this morning. Because of uh, internet problems, mm-hmm. um, and Mr. Mars is still working on stuff. I can tell. Yeah. Because of the hammering over here, <clears throat> but <laughs> the sawing. In, yeah. And the swearing. <laughs> but in the meantime, and in between time, we had uh, <clears throat> a young lady get her first car a yep. couple weeks ago, and we thought it would be a really good time for us to find out what it's like to buy a used car these days. And uh, well, not only that, but your first car. And your first car. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what do you go through that? Well. Um, I I did all mine on my own, but I was working for a car dealership that had a absolutely worthless Corvair that didn't run, hmm. and I bought I snatched that one up. You've had two, and it's, well, it, let's not even go there okay. for the second one. But the first one was something, and it uh, got me into cars. So there you go. Well, so it's and, all yours, and that's just, it, it, ladies and gentlemen. This is my granddaughter Kylie. Uh, Kylie is. Uh, High school student, 16 years old, needs a car for summer, work, and all that. I'll let her take over the majority of the conversation, but it was a process. So just shut up and let her go. There you go. How was it? (laughs) She went, oh, my God. What am I going to do? What am I going to say? It was, well, it was interesting because I feel like it wasn't, like it got done like pretty quickly. Yeah, it was quick. Did you think that it wasn't going to go as quickly? I thought it would go a little, bit, a little bit slower than that. You were like, going to take all day or yeah, something? Well, no, because the way my mom was talking about it, she's like, oh, well, there's a chance you might not get it. And I'm like, okay, well, well you, you know think the car- that. She but- sounds just like her mother when she said that. Yeah, I know. I'm like, you think that, but okay. <laughs> Grandma's thinking we're going to get it today. And, so, And that was the whole point. It was Kylie, the the future owner but it was her mother and her grandmother so that's scary yeah they, it's they very got, scary they, there? they said yeah i was there what, i was what, just what there to support i took pictures and support and shook hands and kissed babies and <laughs> like i normally do and then let them go through the process because i didn't want to be uh a, either a thorn in it or you know i didn't want to voice an opinion like you normally are right so i let them go through it and, and that's what they did and it worked out so who who, who was the uh, the lead in this purchase Actually, the three of them, both the, all three, both, both the grandma, the mom, and, and Kylie. Yeah, so okay. they had they had me look on um, online first and yeah. see like, oh, is there any cars that you want? And I was like, well, I first saw the Chevy Equinox, and then I was like, okay, and it was like really cheap. It was a 2012 Chevy Chevy Equinox, and we get there and we're like, mm, we don't like this one as much. Well, when and you so, say when you say too a little cheap, what what was the price range? It was, it was around twelve, 12 grand. It grand. was about thirteen thousand, because okay. it was twelve thousand nine hundred ninety nine dollars. Yeah, yeah. And and, then, and and so what was it that you didn't like about it? Um, the pickup speed. It was. <laughs> it was sluggish. <laughs> yeah, you had to really step on the gas to get it gotcha. to go. Mm-hmm. And then. What year was it? Two thousand twelve. A twelve. Yeah. Okay. But it had. Forty-three thousand miles on okay. it. Okay, well, it's not too bad. It's not for, bad, yeah, no, for that kind of that mm-hmm. old of a car. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, and so then what? So and you then, found. So you didn't like the Equinox. Yeah, we looked online again, like at the dealership, and we saw the Ford Fo- Escape. My bad. Yeah, the Escape. Escape, mm-hmm. and so we wanted to try that one out, and he was like, "Oh, I didn't know you wanted to go smaller," and I was like, "Well, yeah, but I don't want like a super." A four door, was it sedan? Yeah, yeah. I didn't want a sedan, so I was like, "Yeah, let's look at that one." They went on so, that. One. So I, I, I have to interrupt. So you were actually looking for an SUV. Yeah, I didn't want a sedan. 
Why? Um, I just like being a little bit higher up off the ground. I gotcha. didn't want. Yeah. Because you're yeah. not a tall person and you yeah. like sitting up and being in command. Well, that's understandable. Well, it's safety too. Well, that, but I wouldn't imagine that she probably thought of that, but I would like I to think, think about that. about safety. No, <laughs> but you know, you, you kind of take that for granted these days that most cars are pretty safe as, yeah. as far as cars are concerned in general. But um, no, I, I have known several people that will buy a certain SUV because it sits up off the ground mm-hmm. and they can see right and uh it's important plus you're now up there with the majority of america <laughs> in an suv yeah okay all right, got yeah, it. yeah yeah so you, you drove this thing and what did you think i liked it way better than the chevy Equinox. did you yeah i think that's interesting what year is this one uh 2014 and it had thirty two thousand miles so on less it. miles so less miles and you you're and newer two years newer you're new, one year newer one year yeah. two. okay is it two years yeah because okay. it's 2014. The so other one was 2012. 12, yeah. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. That's right. Yep. So then we drove that one. It was a, like maybe a thousand dollars more. Yeah. But the Chevy Equinox needed new tires. So we were like, we don't really want to buy new tires. And the um, Ford Escape already had like new tires on it. Gotcha. Yeah. Well, I got to see it. And I have to tell you that as, as I told you in person, I was really impressed mm-hmm. with how clean it was. But you were saying, Jeff, that it was a program car. Yeah. Uh, I looked it up because we did the Carfax and uh, it started out being uh, a company car on the east side of Houston, probably okay. for an oil firm or something or whatever. And then it was sold to uh, an individual up in uh, Shreveport, Louisiana. Mm-hmm. And it was kept there for a couple of years and then uh, it ended up with uh, Emmons. So uh, low miles, uh, there was nothing detrimental on the Could Carfax. Never been wrecked. Never been wrecked. There is a, an open campaign on it for uh, a, a sensor, a fuel sensor, but she's going to get that taken care of before summer. And the door latch. And there's a door latch issue, but Ford's got to look at that. So they're minor uh, with respect to it doesn't have to be in the shop for weeks and weeks and weeks with right. parts. Uh, but it will have to be there a couple of days. So we understand that it's going to be there through the middle of the week. That way she can use it on weekends when she works and does her other things for you know, what kids do. So that's coming up in the next week or so. We'll get that done for her. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. So let's talk about the car buying experience itself. And uh, Mr. Mars, I don't see our, our salesperson yeah, there. Is, is it so that he's on there? No, that's... Okay. Well, let's just talk about it without him, then, if he's okay. not there. Um, let's talk about uh, the car buying experience. So, this was down at Emmons Motors. And, you know, we have a relationship with Wally mm-hmm. through Emmons Motors and uh, great guys, drag racers. And um, the dad started that business down there decades ago. And they have a beautiful dealership. It's a used car lot, but <laughs> you would swear up and down you were going to a, a new car dealer. Yeah. Yeah, we showed some pictures of it. Absolutely. Yeah, it's uh, it's uh, very upscale, very nice, and they sell a lot of cars there for multiple reasons. But they don't sell junk; um, they sell reliable cars there. And if they're not reliable, or at least in their opinion, are reliable and in good shape, then they're not going to sell them. They're mm-hmm. going to pass on them. Well, so, and David's bought several cars from him. David has bought mm-hmm. several cars from him, and um, they're. They're friends of the shows, mm-hmm. and they, they we don't ask for any discounts. We don't ask for any special favors, but um, and they don't advertise with us, so we have no skin in the mm-hmm. game. Here. Right. And I wanted to make that clear that we, there's no discount, yeah. nothing. And so, we, we talked about that here for Kylie, uh, you know, because we knew that she was getting involved in that, and we discussed that we wanted to maybe do something for the show. Um, got a hold of Gary. And Gary said, yeah, we'll, we'll work with you. We'll get you somebody. I said, get us a, a salesperson that will walk us through the process, not you know, beat us up like car people generally right. try to do. And uh, it's for a first-time car buyer, and we'll do something on the show with it. So he, he called me back a couple of days later and says, yeah, go with, go with this, and we'll see you down there. So, so who'd you talk to? We talked to Alberto, uh, and that was her sales uh, guide for this. Now, I'm not saying he's the best. They're all good. You know, he was just that he had the opportunity to do this for us. So we appreciate him. I'm sorry he's not on, but he was going to be with us today as well. Um, 
you know, he went through each step. You know, if there was a delay in something, he would explain it and uh, asked if we were, or she particularly, was interested in other models and other makes, other colors and things. And uh, we truly thought maybe if they didn't have something, it would be a week or so before he would find something. Right. But it turned out they had the good selection, and, and it worked out for her. So oh, you're happy, right? Yeah, I love it. Okay, good. Yeah. It's good. very clean. Uh, it's a white escape mm -hmm. with, uh, is it a blue or gray interior? Gray gray interior mm -hmm. that looks like it's brand yeah, it new yeah. the whole car does yeah uh, it, it, it i was my jaw dropped mm -hmm. when i saw it and it was uh it was even under the hood yeah it, it generally you have an odor if somebody had smoked in it or you know it had food in it or something the pets or something yeah exactly but none of that yeah none of that at all so. yeah super clean car yeah. have you washed it by yourself yet i need to do you it's dirty. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Well. Um. You know. Uh. You. We. We have somebody that is, is an expert in washing cars, and that'd be John Gray. Mm -hmm. We just had him on. We just had him on. <laughs> so if you want to see how cars are detailed, he's That's the guy. That's the way to go. Yeah. But he's used to detailing the, well, like you said, the high end portion. Yeah. That and, and 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 putting you know nose bras on it or wraps right. or whatever the case may be. Um, if you get a chance next Saturday when we're on remote, you need to come there. Yeah. Where's it at? Uh, Beltway 8 between uh, airport and... Well, basically yeah. just south of US 59 yeah. Southwest Freeway. Yeah. And uh, you take the first exit going south on the Beltway and it's right there. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, you'll be, you'll be surprised. We need to indulge you in that. Mm -hmm. We do because um, it gives you an idea of what it means to have a high-end car these people have high-end cars most of them are new but they are already into taking care of it before they actually start putting miles on it it makes a huge difference and to see these cars you're going to go wow and it's a big porsche event mm -hmm. you ever been inside of a porsche well never been inside that, of a porsche. see we're gonna we're trying to we're trying to <laughs> she just got she's had this car like a, not even a month well i know we're already flipping it i know well we're not <laughs> no we're not flipping it all i'm doing is trying to show her the finer things when it comes to there you uh, go yeah what yeah what, something's going on so over here I, I see he's fixed it <laughs> is it working <laughs> something's working apparently but at any rate um so do you have any plans for it? I mean, you want to put wheels on it? Uh, you want to lower it, tub it out? Don, Don, Don. We're not going to lower it. <laughs> do what? We're not going to lower it. We're not going to lower it. Okay. No. Let's so just I'm, go I'm for thinking, washing it. Right I, I, okay. Well, I'm, I'm thinking that perhaps <laughs> maybe somewhere down the, low, uh, down the road we can put some 20s on it or something. Tub it out? Well, I don't know about tub it out, but uh, wheels and tires are easy. Yeah. So there's that. But I think right now it's just taking care of what you got. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Experience that. And you is. know, your grandmother apparently is a very good car washer. Yeah. She is. Yeah. I'm trying to get her to wash my car. She said no. No, yeah. no. But she could got, She could sit back, to <laughs> drink a lemonade, and say that, and do this, and do that. Oh, she's good at that. I, you would know. <laughs> yeah. Well, she taught you how to vacuum, didn't she? <laughs> yeah, many times. <laughs> yeah. But whether or not he'll do it or not, that's another thing. So, what was your, what was your take on the whole buying experience did anything really kind of surprise you i think it was a lot quicker than what like um like a normal experience would be it was a little under three hours because we were only there for we yeah. got there at what like two and we left there at four thirty. Mm -hmm. nice well that's good uh is is did anything besides the time involved did anything surprise you I mean, did you look at other cars i mean you had one that you didn't like um, and then you immediately went to the second one? I only looked at two cars. You only looked at two cars? I only looked well, at two, two cars. Yeah. <clears throat> because you obviously had your mindset on an SUV. Mm -hmm. And you went in there with a budget in mind, mm -hmm. which is important. And I would recommend anybody do that. Yeah. And Grandma kind of stretched the budget a little bit, but it's well, okay. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but that's all right. Um, so you got the car and um, who drove it home? I did. You yeah, did? did. Mm -hmm. yeah. actually, were you did. Were also, you up on the wheel like this? No. I actually got my license to say the same day too. Yeah. So I got my license but you've and then been, we went But to, yeah, but you had your learner's permit for, for about a while. A year. Yeah. So you've been driving for a year. Yeah. Yeah. Which is the way to do it. So who's been your main educator in driving? Grandma? Yeah. Yeah. 
I didn't really drive with my mom. I think she was afraid. I don't drive with your mom. <laughs> she I've was seen afraid. Your drive. <laughs> Actually, I'm more afraid of her driving. It's okay. You know yeah. she's watching. She this. she <laughs> learned she learned from grandma. So that oh makes- lord. <laughs> Yeah, well, there's that. Mm-hmm. They probably are both watching it and saying. <laughs> yeah. So if you had it to do all over again, would you do anything different? What? Okay, mm. let me put it this way. The next time you buy a car, are you taking somebody with you? Or do you think that you can do it on your own? I can't do it on my own. Why not? Because I would probably mess something up. Or like- yeah, you always take somebody with you. Because there could be questions that you might not think of. Well, we wanted we wanted him to go because we wanted him to look at the car before we bought it. So we did want his input on it. Yeah, they got it. I mean, if, it's just yeah, if Grandma normal. and Mom looked at it. They were gonna be like, "We don't know what we're looking at." So has your best friend been in the car with you in it? She has. What does she think? She likes it. Does she have a car? She does have a car. What does she have? Uh, Hyundai or something. It's a Hyundai. A sedan. Small sedan. It's a small sedan. It's yeah. smaller than mine. So yours. You, you, she, does she like yours better than hers? Probably. Probably. <laughs> she didn't say it. Sell it to her. I'm not going to sell it to 25 her. 25 grand, she can have it. <laughs> <laughs> That's more than what her car, what she paid for her car. Yeah. Yeah. But she bought her. She bought hers brand new. Oh. But, um, brand new? She, yeah. Well, it must be nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, do the other kids in your age group getting their driver's license, are they getting cars now? Mm-hmm. They are? Everybody's getting a car. Yeah. So where do you fit in all of that? Is everybody getting new cars? No, I feel like most of the time, like it, it's like a newer year, but it's not brand new. Gotcha. So, so a few years old. Yeah. So yours is yours is perfect. Mm-hmm. Yours is a, is a you know that good slot of year. Absolutely. And a, the yeah. car is in good yeah. shape, low miles, been taken care of, and you just have to continue that. That's what it is. Yeah. Well. My Katie, who uh, has her 31st birthday coming up, I bought her the same car Mm -hmm. uh, when she turned 16. So you can do the math on that. So she's had the car all this time. Now, every fender on it has been mashed at a time or two. (laughs) We want to talk about that. (laughs) uh, I haven't hit anything yet. Well, that's good. Let's (laughs) let's keep it that way. But uh, Katie's car, you wouldn't know that it's been hit. It's been fixed and Mm -hmm. repaired Mm -hmm. and that sort of stuff. But it still runs with 180,000 miles on it. What car does she have? She has a 2007 Ford Focus with a five-speed manual transmission and crank windows. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Two two door. No internet, no Bluetooth? No, no, none of that, no. Did you get yours working? It's back in the analog world. I can't understand you. you, Are you you back with us now? (laughs) He's analoging. Here, let me let me turn your mic. Let me, oh. let me turn your let me turn your microphone on. Please turn me on. There you go. Are you back? Are we yes. back on yes, line yes, and all uh, that yeah. stuff? Yeah, we're and smoking, and I, talking to George. Here. And our guest didn't come in. This. Yeah, but I just I just heard from him. Um, he he apologized that uh, he couldn't make it. Well, he's probably yeah, still in the car. He's probably in a meeting or something. Yeah, <clears throat> whatever yeah. the case may be. Because you know, it was he's it was busy, a touch busy, and go. Busy. He said nine o'clock would be good, but you know, he may have to uh, sell a car too. Yeah. So. Well, yeah, business is business. I mean, mm-hmm. he's calling from work. So. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I think it's pretty exciting. And uh, she drove here. Uh, how many miles is it here? Fifteen miles from her house. From, yeah, uh, probably about that. Maybe yeah, ten, so, something whatever, like ten, something like that. 10, 12. Well, thank you very much for coming by. We have yeah. Mike. If you would, uh, we have, we have a parting gift for you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-oh. This is kind of like the. This is kind of like a game show. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, we don't. Yeah, we don't know what you actually won, other than the parting gift. <laughs> I don't have to stick my hand in a box and just feel around no, and guess yeah, what no. it is. Because Sue's will probably lick your fingers. And well, not only that, but I'm thinking more. Just along take the, the bag off it, Mike. Of the oh, of the scary part where you know you put your hand in the box and it's you know brains or. Something. Look at that! This this jug of juice here is is from Don directly. He, he, <laughs> Bug remover. No, it's for your uh, windshield washer fluid. Nice. Windshield yeah. washer fluid. Windshield washer. And then and, that. and then Grandpa bought you uh, an auto safety kit. Yep. Nice. Jumper cables, uh, batteries. This actually comes with a year of uh, roadside assistance. I have the receipt. You got to figure something out online, and if you need it, I know you got AAA, but this AAA. is this is for. Uh, an additional coverage thing, so it's good. Yeah, and and it's good that you got it here. My granddaughter's got it under the Christmas tree, and they were not impressed. <laughs> sure. So, Kylie, thank you for coming. Thank you. Thank you. You're more than welcome to stay, but we've got other yeah, yeah. St- sections of the show we got to get I, on. Yeah, with. I think okay. it's great that you share that. I, I hope to someday be able to help my granddaughters do the same thing. 
Very good. You Thank will, Mike. Not a problem. And Congra- John's got a grandson and come congratulations along. Congratulations on your, uh, Thank on your you. new ride. All right. All right. Uh, we're going to take a quick break here on the In Wheel Time mm-hmm. Car Talk Show. I want to remind everybody that our show is available 24 7 through the iHeartRadio app. Just look for In Wheel Time Car Talk. Podcasts are available from your favorite podcast provider. We also video stream our three-hour weekly show on Facebook when it works, YouTube, and InWheelTime.com. The In Wheel Time Car Talk Show continues right after this quick break. Oops, I've done it again. Pro-Am Auto Accessories has been serving Houston's auto enthusiasts since 1984, providing world-class products for sports cars, European sedans, and American muscle. Pro-Am is known as the place to go to find exclusive and hard-to-find parts and accessories. Pro-Am is one of the very first distributors in the USA for brands such as Recaro, Redline, Momo, Corbo, and Simpson. Located in the heart of Houston's premier retail and service corridor, the Galleria area, Pro-Am's walk-in storefront includes an 8,000-square-foot warehouse, showroom, and installation. Installation bays. Pro-Am not only sells parts and accessories, but also offers installation and service. Pro-Am is now reaching a worldwide audience through Pro-Am.com, taking its local reputation to the rest of the world. At Pro-Am Auto, you'll be dealing with a small group of professionals who truly want to help you with your automotive needs. If you don't see what you're looking for on the website, call and Pro-Am will lend you a hand. Pro-Am Auto, 6125 Richmond at Green Ridge and Houston's Galleria area. Call them at 713-781-7755. Want to feel good about something special you did for someone special? In Wheel Time and the original Loopy Tortilla group of Tex-Mex restaurants have joined together to help a very worthy cause, God's Garage, a Christian-based 501c3 charity. We know there are lots of places and organizations out there where you can donate a car, truck, or SUV. But we're asking you, our car enthusiast family, to consider donating to God's Garage. Visit GodsGarage.org and learn about its mission, the women that have been helped, how each one is screened, and about their Restore You program. A car donation is an easy way to make a difference in the lives of others. God's Garage needs good operating vehicles, but will take all types in working and non-working condition. Make your heart and soul feel good by donating your gently used vehicle and help support single mothers, widows, and wives of deployed military at godsgarage.org. Welcome back to the In Wheel Time Car Talk Show. And uh, if you haven't heard, we have, believe it or not, ladies and gentlemen, coming up, tailpipes and tacos. Yahoo! Uh, Memorial Day weekend. That's mm-hmm. going to be in a couple of weeks. And we invite you to come on out for that. That's an 8 to 11 deal at the Loopy Tortilla out in Katy. We're back after over a year of being uh, rained out, paused up, all that sort of stuff. So that's uh, coming up in two weeks at Loopy Tortilla out in Katy. All right. Hmm. Time now for the racing calendar. I Jeff got has it. it. I got Sponsored it. Sponsored by the Texas Muscle Car Club Thank Challenge. Thank you, Texas Muscle Car Club Challenge. Last week, I made a faux pas. I announced that NASCAR last week was going to be at Darlington. I read it wrong. They were at Kansas. So I apologize to all you NASCAR fans out there because I know you all were probably hanging out at Darlington. They're at Darlington this week, so move on. The lady in black. The lady in black. Now, NHRA, they're off until the 18th, so we've got another week until we see them run down the track again. Indy, uh, getting ready for the 500 at the end of the month, but they've got the closed road course uh, coming up today. On for the 11th. what? For the Indy, it's a road course in, in the Indy circuit. I know, but is it Indy cars? Yeah, Indy cars in the in closed circuit on, on the in, in Before the Indy 500, mm-hmm. they're running yep, the yep. Indy cars. On the- road course, yep. Okay. And then uh, IMSA's over at Laguna Seca, which is fun. Uh, then we've got my favorite, which is the Formula One. They're not running until the 17th. Uh, so, He's lying. Yeah, I, I fibbed on that one. And that's it. Thank you. All right. You bet. We have a car review. Mm-hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Mars had a chance to drive. I can't believe that Ford let him do this. I know. A 2024 Ford Mustang GT. Well, I have to say it involved a lot of groveling. But it is the uh, GT <laughs> with the manual six-speed transmission. So this is a um, basically, what do you call it? It's a four-passenger sports car. I mean, that's what it is, and that's how I was rated. I don't know that I would consider... Two passengers in the back seat, but it is a little bit bigger, and it's You have to scoot possible. the front seats up. Yeah. Way up. And so, comes in five available trim levels, and we were driving the GT Premium, which is the EcoBoost, the EcoBoost Premium, GT, GT Premium, and the Dark Horse, 
that they so far haven't allowed me to even look I got at. that well, because, uh, because Nander, I'm Nander, a better Nander. driver than you. Well, I hope there's oh, still some oh, tread on it whenever oh. it finally I didn't makes get, it to no, me. No, I didn't get any tread on mine. No, there was no tread. I <laughs> no looked tread. at the tires. <laughs> so this is redesigned this year. So this is the beginning of the seventh generation. We had the rapid red paint, which I love the name of it. And on the outside of it, you're going to find up front the LED lighting. The, even the sequential LED tail lights were there. And one of the great things about the Mustang had approach lighting, pony, uh, had the pony lamps whenever you come up to the car, had ponies down on the ground, which everybody thought was really cool for about 30 seconds. Had the hood <laughs> vent and uh, had uh, rain sensing wipers, got a performance raised wing spoiler on it, and the GT Premium rolls on some 19 inch wheels. And it does have, the other thing that was really cool, it's got the active valve exhaust. I don't know if you had that on the Dark Horse or not, but you I can did. change I the turned tune. It, I know, I turned it off. Well, I turned I, it up to the track, and because, it didn't sound as good. Well, I don't know about that, but I, I know that I woke up the neighbors five days in a row. <laughs> but it was pretty cool. Mustangs have a distinct sound, no matter what. So you get to the interior, so... We had one of the performance packages, so it had the leather Recaro seats, which mm. I believe is what you put in the Corvette. I did not. I Corvo, don't. Did I, don't I don't like leather. I like mine cloth, and they're Corbo cloth seats. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Thank you for asking. But they that. are the high bolstered type of sports. Yes, they seats. are. Yes. They are that. And uh, and of course, with this package, since did you we, have trouble getting in and out of it? Getting oh, in was man. a bit of an issue. Out was easy. It was just trying to get in between the steering wheel and get over that high bolster. And when you got in, it was comfortable. Now. If I was a larger person, I don't know that it would be, but for what it was there, it was great. But there is no heat and no vent to the seats because they're the aftermarket type seats. Had a 13.2 inch infotainment screen, had a 12.4 inch digital instrument cluster. Um, so we had over on the infotainment screen where we could find our navigation, uh, Ford Pass Connect, Ford Sync 4, 4 runs all that stuff, the rear view camera, track apps, had some track apps. And there's the split folding rear seat that folds down so you can put a little more cargo in there. And we had a B&O 12-speaker audio system that sounded really good. But time you figured up with that audio, I mean with the exhaust. Now up under the hood, it had the 5.0 liter V8, 480 horsepower, 415 pound feet of torque. And it did have the 6 p manual transmission. Now the EPA says you should be able to get 14 in the city, 23 on the highway, <laughs> 17 combined. <laughs> What was yours, Mars? Well, I actually got 21.2 across wow. 200.8 miles. So, I mean, most of that was on the highway, I noticed obviously. that you didn't drive it here. No, I didn't because we had the truck. We were using yeah, the truck for food. gear stuff. Yeah. So, I, I didn't get to put that many miles on it. But I will say it's good got looking car. seriously it awesome power. It looks good. It's longer. It sits lower. It's got a lower profile to it. Uh, and, again, we had the performance package. So, for the ride and handling, it had the Magna ride. But now, to me, that's a little stiff. You can put it into one of the four drive modes, normal, sports, slippery, which I really didn't understand. And then you had the drag mode. And by the time you kicked it into the drag mode, you definitely knew that you were into some track suspension. Now, the base model price on the Mustang is $32,275. Base trim price for the vehicle we were driving, the premium trim level, is $49,075. Now, the Monroni that we got is not for sale, so I didn't have a price for that specific car. But we did have a couple of other packages on it, performance packages and stuff that would push that price well up above 50000 Now, 2024 Camaro is at $29,788. The, there is no 24 Challenger, so the 2023 Challenger starts at $31,100. Same thing for the Kia Stinger, a little two-door coupe. 2023 Stinger is $36,690. For a starting price for the MSRP, so it uh, yeah depends on it's like a lot of things it depends on how you package it up, how you dress it up, mm -hmm. what you want out of it as to what the price is going to be. But it is a very fun car, and I see why they sell the good GBs out of them. All right, thank you, sir. If you'd like to get in touch with us, shoot us an email. The info uh, address is info at inwheeltime.com, and be sure and follow us on Facebook. Back after flash, tailpipes and tacos is back Memorial Day weekend. It's been a while, but the popular Tailpipes and Tacos Cruise-In returns to the Loopy Tortilla, Texas.
Tex-Mex in Katy, Saturday, May 25th. Bring your hot rod, classic, or modern classic to compete for one of the famous chili pepper trophies and get a free breakfast taco. Just make a donation of any size to God's Garage and Loopies will match it. You'll be helping single mothers who need a set of wheels. It's been a year in the making, so don't miss this Tailpipes and Tacos cruise in Saturday, May 25th, 8 to 11 a.m. Donate what you want to God's Garage and grab a free Loopy Tortilla breakfast taco. Tailpipes and Tacos only happens at the Loopy Tortilla Tex-Mex in Katy on the West Grand Parkway at Kingsland Boulevard, just south of the Katy Freeway. It's car show season, and what better way to kick it off than a free taco and camaraderie at Tailpipes and Tacos. Memorial Day weekend, Saturday, May 25th, 8 to 11 a.m. The in Wheel Time Car Talk Show will be there, too. Proceeds benefit God's Garage, weather permitting. Gulf Coast Auto Shield is having another car social Saturday morning, May 18th from 8 to 11. It's a car cruise in like no other. Expect Ferraris, Lamborghinis, Corvettes, and the featured brand Porsche. Get social at this special cruise in event. You'll also see Gulf Coast Auto Shield's private workshop and learn about their many products and services. Questions are welcomed. Gulf Coast Auto Shield is easy to get to at 11275 South Sam Houston Tollway near West Airport Boulevard, just south of the Southwest Freeway. The Car Social featuring Porsche takes place Saturday morning, May 18th from 8 to 11. Tell your friends, and no matter what car you have, bring it and enjoy this rare opportunity to see some of Houston's finest rides. In Wheel Time will bring its car talk show there too, so join us for another Car Social at Gulf Coast Auto Shield Saturday morning, May 18th, 8 to 11 at 11275. South Sam Houston Tollway, just south of the Southwest Freeway. Visit GCAutoShield.com to see the show flyer for more details. That's it for this podcast episode of the In Wheel Time Car Show. I'm Don Armstrong, inviting you to join us for our live show every Saturday morning, 8 to 11 a.m. Central on Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, and our InWheelTime.com website. Podcasts are available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, iHeart Podcast, Podcast Addict, TuneIn, Pandora, and Amazon Music. Keep listening, and we'll see you soon.